Hello everyone, I do have a video for this week. Not much, but I do, would like to talk about what's going on with this very large HP LaserJet multifunction printer. It was brought in with me with a brought in to me with a complaint that the customer can't print. And I had had a phone conversation with this customer before the printer was brought in and what was going on was the printer was showing up in devices and printers but when you tried to select the printer to print you couldn't select it you couldn't print you couldn't do anything with the printer you couldn't even print a test page and I had had a conversation over the phone with this customer to assist her in the reinstallation of her printer driver because I originally believed that the printer driver needed to be reinstalled. That was not the case. In fact, the printer driver crashed during the reinstall and I then had her bring the printer in which as you can see was quite a little bit of an ordeal because of the size of this printer and when I examined the computer and printer set up upon ha having her bring the printer in I found that there were major components of the printer driver that were corrupt and that were causing the print spooler to crash now the print spooler is a very essential component of Windows printing. It allows for more than one print job to be stored for printing at a time by allowing jobs to go into the computer's memory instead of being sent directly to the printer. The printer can only handle a single job at a time in its buffer. So the print spooler allows for the spooling, hence its name, of multiple jobs in Windows. The print spooler is also a very essential component of some of the Windows 8 printer functions, including printer driver management. Because the print spooler is crashing, I cannot even remove the printer driver in order to get a clean reinstall of it. I have posted a message on the Hewlett Packard message board regarding this LaserJet printer issue which I did find out is a common issue with Hewlett Packard LaserJet printers to have the printer driver get in a bad state for what seems to be no reason at all I haven't gotten a response yet from Hewlett Packard on this issue. I hope I will get a response from them sometime today. Um, some of you may be wondering why I haven't actually called Hewlett Packard tech support lines yet. The reason that I haven't called Hewlett Packard yet is because when you call them, they charge you money. And it's not a trivial fee. It's like, a, last I knew, it was a $30 fee for a printer like this that is fairly new but out of warranty. And I also believe that they have raised the fee since to $60 for out of warranty technical support. And they're very strict about this. In fact, the first person that you get when you call Hewlett Packard Technical Support is not a technician. He is a credit card taker. He cannot help you at all with any technical questions whatsoever. His job is strictly to serve as a gateway and make sure that they get your credit card number before you move on to actual technicians. I love Hewlett Packard, but this is the only thing that I really hate about Hewlett Packard is their tech support policy. It's somewhat of a controversial policy, and it's been this way for years. 
I'm hoping that someday they will change it, but I'm not holding my breath. I will have a further update on this printer when I have the problem resolved. I'll see everyone next week. Talk to everyone soon. Also, before I let everybody go, I just had a thought. What would you like to see on my YouTube video channel and in my Facebook videos? Please leave a comment and let me know, and I'll try to accommodate everyone. I'll talk to you soon. See everyone later. Bye-bye.